The One Leaf NV400 firmware update, download and installation instructions. 1. Visit the official website, www.oneleaf.i. 2. Go to download and find the correct firmware. 3. Download and unzip the file. Copy the file to the SD card root directory. 4. One insert the card into the device. 5. Make sure the device is fully charged. Press power button to turn on the device. 6. The firmware update progress bar is displayed on the screen. 7. The device will enter home screen after update. 8. Press and hold menu button to go to format SD card and reset setup. Format the SD card first, after that, check the firmware version in version and card info to see whether the device updated to the latest firmware. Finally reset the device. Please note. 1. Please format the micro SD card before firmware update. 2. Please do not power off device or unplug the micro SD card during the upgrade process, as this may cause the device to fail to power on. 3. Zero once the device has been updated, please delete the firmware in the micro SD card to avoid the device from updating again when next boot. Okay then, I've uh, uploaded the latest firmware. I've gone to the menu, and if you look down the list now, it says Ballistic Parameters. So let's go down to that. Press OK. And there's a, a massive selection of options you've got there. So at the top, ballistic switch, which is on, ballistic group, ballistic coefficient, ballistic model, bullet weight, initial velocity. Zero range, sight height, shooting angle, wind speed, wind angle, altitude, temperature, barometric pressure, and relative humidity. So, quite a good uh, ballistic app looking at it. So, if we go down to ballistic group and press it, see what we get. Okay, so you've got A to G, so that will be your particular setting for your projectile and rifle in use. So you can go back to whichever coincides with uh, your particular setup. Okay, ballistic coefficient. So you can set up whatever it is there. I know uh, if you're on pellet guns, H&N, they've got a ballistic uh, range. If you go on the website, it tells you what each pellet is supposed to be. So you can change them there just by clicking on your turret. Ballistic model. can be found by looking at product package box, manufacturer's website, or such. Okay. Bullet weight, ops uh, pretty obvious. So you weigh your projectile. That goes in there. Initial velocity at the muzzle. Put that one in. Zero range. 
so whatever you set it to so you can come right down look at this look crikey right you can go right up as well so depending on your zero range you put that in there height from the center of the scope to your barrel put in there shooting angle wind speed wind angle altitude so above sea level that's quite high for me I think I'm probably about 500 feet where I live I'm going the wrong way but uh, you can go on a map and find out Uh, temperature, barometric pressure, relative humidity. A lot of these ones on this end are for long range shooting with rifles, firearms, but uh, for rear gunners, if you put in your wind speed, bullet weight, your barometric pressure will make a difference. The altitude for rear gunners because it's not as powerful, higher up. But if you know your velocity at the muzzle that's good enough so there we go that is the new software update for the one leaf nv400 rifle scope so uh, i will be uh, setting this up i've got it on my retail at the moment but uh, i can do it on several rifles different pellet combos as uh, it shows is uh, a to g so there we go. So that's the initial look at the latest software that we've all been waiting for, for the One Leaf NV400. And looking at it, it looks like they've uh, really gone into it well. I did I did send my contacts a list of uh, ballistic uh, measurements for the H&N pellets and a few more. But uh, yeah, very good. So next up, I'll be zeroing it in and uh, setting it up on this, and we'll see how it does at the range. <laughs> Oh, my God. 